And secondly, have, have you discussed withdrawing your foundation bid based on the CQC report for um, for 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 areas uh, for foreign periods? So, so, a, 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 so I think the agenda item was for us to come and talk about the Imperial a &E performance and I'm, I'm not going to comment on Northbrook Park or another organisation I don't know sufficiently around their issues and it's not for me to comment on that. Okay. And the only reason I ask is because clearly there are knock-on effects and if there are other problems going on elsewhere, then as well as not spotting your own issues, then I'm saying that if there's problems anywhere in North West London, that would have a knock-on effect with patients coming, because patients don't see the separation and the demarcations as you do, then that would surely need to, you need to take into account in your planning. But the second point is, um, given the, that you've got a foundation bit, and this is a critical uh, criticism, given that you've argued so forcefully that it's right to put everything into St Mary's, have you discussed <coughs> dropping your foundation hospital bid? So um, we cannot progress our foundation trust status um, until we have received a CQC rating of good or better. So for the next period, we'll be focusing on delivering on the CQC action plan and making sure that we have a CQC reinspection that identifies the organisation we're currently running as good or better. And it's fair to say that you probably was, if you were surprised by your own ending service, you were more so surprised by everybody else's. I'm not too sure how to answer that, apart from that we have seen across the country challenges in the emergency pathway and the volumes of patients that are um, going through the emergency pathway putting pressure nationally. So um, I think that's the national position and that's been reflected in North West London and reflected in India. Thanks.